In this example, we're going to be showing you zonal OCR, and zonal OCR is clearly reading areas of the page or zones. So we're going to quickly launch a TNT invoice here, and we're going to show you the template. Now in this example, the word express is used as the unique identifier. As soon as file director sees that, it knows that that's a TNT invoice. Uh, we can then draw around areas of the page and map them to fields. So that's an invoice number, that's a date, uh, and then we've got loads of settings behind the scenes so we can try and get the accuracy right. Say, for example, this is only a digit or this is only, um, only expect alphanumeric. In this British Gas invoice, which we're going to show you, the British Gas logo at the top there is used as identifier. And then we've got some fields mapped around the page as well. We literally draw around areas of the page and say read that as it passes through. Now when we come to scanning in this example for CMR Logistics, we're going to be scanning delivery notes. We want to identify the different types of templates and then read areas of the page as it comes through. So what we're looking for is the job number or, or the unique number on each document. So the most important thing about uh, OCR is to try and get the most accurate re results as, uh, as we possibly can. Now, as you notice, some of these documents are skewed. Um, they could be fax copies. So uh, results won't be as accurate as, say, reading a barcode. But the accuracy levels are generally sort of 90 to 95 percent. Uh, but the important thing is to get the settings right behind the scenes to accommodate some of these um, uh, natural things like SKUs. So once all the documents have been scanned, uh, the user can go into a editing mode and by drawing around the area of the screen can quickly sit, check the uh, OCR results against what it should be. So in these examples, we're whizzing into the same area of the screen. So the uh, user can quickly edit if he needs to. In this example, he's going to quickly take the four off um, and uh, change it to the correct value.